Hi everyone, this is lesson number 19 on probability. And in this lesson, we will learn about hypergeometric distribution. I'm going to start with an example. Suppose we have an urn, an urn, which has four red balls and six black balls. Four red balls. So I have one, two, three, four. And six black balls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, so the total number of balls in this urn is capital N, which is equal to ten. Four plus six. What we want to do is we want to randomly select. Randomly select five. I'm going to call that five little n, which is equal to five balls from the urn. Without replacement. So this is the key word in hypergeometric distribution. It is done without replacement. Now the question is, how many of these five are red. Define the random variable x as the number of red balls of the five which are selected. So I'm just going to write it as the number of red balls selected. Okay. Now this random variable x could take the following values x could be, for instance, 0 of the 5 selected could be red. Okay, Or maybe 1 of the 5 selected could be red. Or 2 of the 5 selected could be red. Or 3 of the 5 selected could be red. Or 4 of the 5 selected could be red. Well, I cannot have all five of them being red because the number of red balls in this urn is four. So we have four red and six black. So the support of this random variable x, okay, the support is therefore the set containing the values zero, one, two, three, four, 0, 1, and so on, until the minimum of either the number of red balls, which I'm going to call R, R, I'm going to define it as the number of red balls, or the number in your sample, N, little n. Okay? Where R, here is the number of red balls. And R. Now we have the support, we can go ahead and calculate the probability that the random variable x takes a value of 0, or the probability that a random variable x, the random variable x, takes a value of 1, takes a value of 2, takes a value of 3, all the way up to the probability that x is equal to 4. This random variable x is a hypergeometric random variable. Now let's go ahead and calculate the probability that x takes a value of, let's just pick a number, 1. All right. For an example, what is the probability that x takes a value of 1? A value of 1 means I have 1 red ball of the 5 which are selected. Now, that is done in the following manner. First of all, what is the number of ways of selecting 5 balls out of 10? So the number of ways of selecting 5, little n equals 5, out of 10, capital N equals 10 balls, is 10 
choose five, okay, which is capital N choose little n. Having one red ball represented in the sample of five is the same as choosing one from the four red balls that we have, which can be done in four choose one number of ways, and multiplied by if one of the five is red, then we must have four of the five being black. So that means we must have chosen four out of the six black balls to be selected in the sample of five. All right. And the number of ways that can be done is the product of these two numbers. Uh, and this is due to the multiplication rule of counting, which we have covered in the second or third lesson. And the total number of ways of choosing five balls from 10 is 10 choose 5. So therefore, the probability that x takes the value of 1 is given by 4 choose 1 times 6 choose 4 divided by 10 choose 5. And that is approximately equal to 0.238. Okay, let's generalize this problem. Okay, let, let me give you the general form of hypergeometric distribution. Okay, suppose that we have N, capital N, I should say. Suppose that we have capital N items, a collection of capital N items, of which R, which is less than N, are of a special kind. Are of a special kind. And what you want to do is you want to sample without replacement or select without replacement little n, which is again less than capital N, items from the capital N items that you have. Now this is done without replacement. And define a hypergeometric random variable x, define x as the number of, x is the number of items of the special kind in the n selected items. The number of items of the special kind. in the n selected items. And this x follows a hypergeometric distribution which we write as x follows a hypergeometric distribution with parameters capital N, little n, and r, where capital N is the total number of items, n is the sample size that you're selecting without replacement and R is the number of units or the number of items of that special kind. And the PMF, the probability mass function of this random variable X, X equals little x, is given by choose little x from the special type R and you will be left with capital N minus r from which you choose little n minus x so that x plus little n minus x gives you n and divide that by the number of ways that you can choose little n from capital N and that's the PMF okay and the support of this hypergeometric random variable is that x ranges from um, from zero, I, I should actually say from the maximum of zero or n plus r minus capital N up to the minimum of little n 
and R. That's the support and the expected value of this hypergeometric random variable is equal to n times r divided by n. Intuitively, r divided by n is the proportion of the special type that you have in the collection. And since you sample little n, you can think of it as the number of items of the special kind and the sample size of little n is n times the proportion which is r divided by n. That's an intuitive meaning to the expected value. The variance is given by variance of the random variable x is given by n times capital N minus n divided by capital N minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus r divided by capital N times r divided by capital N. 